Yeah. Good morning, guys. Hope we're all keeping well this morning. Hope you forgive me now. I'm having a bad hair day. It's getting wet. <laughs> it doesn't look great there now. But um, this headband is a mighty job altogether. Keeps it up and out of the way. Um, Again, we'll do our 30 minute morning practice. All you need is some cushions just to begin with, just to, to sit, to be able to sit comfortably, or um, a book, or if you have the yoga block, um, even better. Okay? And we might bring it in and out of the, the practice as we go along. So we start, we'll, we're going to go straight into it. So those guys who might join in a bit later, um, they can always just, just play back. Okay, so we'll take our time. Um, we do a little bit more of a dynamic flow, especially because it's, it's early in the morning and we're, we're just getting up. Okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna just sit um, in our easy pose or your, your cross-legged position. So we'll do 30, 35 minutes um, and we, we go from there, okay? So we're gonna begin with the breath. Um, and just we're going to consciously engage with with the breath okay so when we're ready we're going to just sit nice and comfortable so if you have that block or if you have a couple of cushions and um, i just want you to begin here sitting comfortably so you're going to sit in that cross-legged easy pose okay this will also help just open up the hips here as well this morning. So the body is usually a little bit stiffer in the morning. So we take our time, okay, and we'll just give that body a little bit of time to, to open up. So sitting in that easy pose, okay, but as you just lengthen through that spine, you can relax your hands here on both knees, or if you prefer to just let them rest on your inner thighs, you can also sit that way. So we're going to relax the shoulders. Okay, we're just going to lift that head. We're going to gaze forwards. Now we're going to close the eyes here so we can engage with that breath. So when you're ready, just close the eyes. And we're going to just take about 10 deep breaths here just to, to start our practice. Okay, so I want you to take a deep inhale. I want you to take a nice long exhale. So we're going to breathe in and out the nose. And I just want you to use a little bit of stomach breathing here or belly breathing. So as you inhale, okay, we're letting that tummy expand out and as you exhale now okay you're just drawing that stomach back in again okay so we're not just breathing here through the chest we're breathing from the bottom all the way up Now we're going to repeat now for three more breaths, three deep breaths. Okay, when you're ready, you just open up the eyes. 
Okay. So throw the practice again. We're going to try and link in with that breath with certain postures just to help open up the joints, the muscles, and yeah, and it can make a huge difference. Okay, so from there we're going to just roll off the knees. Okay, we're going to come to the center of the mat. So you can take your block or your cushions there, just move them one side, and we're going to come here to the center of the mat. Okay. So to start off, we're going to begin with that cat and cow stretch. So just your alignment, we place the hands here directly beneath your shoulders, and we start with the hips directly above the knees. Okay. So we're going to start on the inhale. As you inhale, you're going to just lift that tailbone upwards. You're going to arch your lower back. And then I want you to just broaden the chest. So I want you to squeeze your shoulder, draw your shoulder blades back. Okay, so we're broadening the chest here. We're keeping the arms straight. And on the exhale, we're going to counter that movement by tucking your tailbone under. Okay, we're really drawing that belly button into the spine and we're pressing the two palms here the mass and finally tucking the chin to the chest. So we're going to repeat that now for five breaths. Inhale, lift the tailbone up, arch your lower back, draw your shoulder blades back. Exhale, just counter, draw that belly button to the spine, tuck the chin, really press your two palms into the mass. Three breaths here now. Deep breath. And a nice long exhale. Now we're going to come halfway between both movements into our neutral spine here. Now. We're going to just focus on the hips here. So what I want you to do is to just sweep your left foot just to the outside of the left hand. Okay. So we can keep the fingertips here on the mat. What I want you to do, what, sorry, what I want you to do is just lift up. So again, we're just trying to broaden that chest. You can just draw that left knee just out to the side here. So just a gentle twist to start off. We're just going to turn and just glance over that left shoulder and we're opening up that left hip. So you can come on to the outside of the left foot. Now we'll just come back to center. Again, we place that left hand just inside your left foot. So we're just opening up that left side here. So we take two deep breaths. More breath. Now we're just going to take that left leg back. Okay, we switch to the right side. So if we just sweep that right foot forward again. Again, you can come to your fingertips here. But for a little bit stiff this morning, you can place your right hand here on the right knee. And we're just looking to again broaden that chest and we're going to just take to a gentle twist now over the right shoulder. So you just glance it back over that shoulder. We come back to center. Okay, we just sweep that right leg back. Okay, now from here we're going to just extend out that left leg. So I want you to send your heel away. I want you to just lift that leg uh, as far as you can feel your, your left glute muscle here switching on. Okay, and we're going to raise the right hand. So we pause here. And what I want you to do now is just make sure your hips are square with the mat and that the shoulders are square with the mat and that we're not kind of all over the place. So we're nice and square. Now we're going to lengthen on the inhale, so you're going to stretch as long as you can. On the exhale, we're just going to bring that hand and knee together. So we're going to inhale and lengthen. Exhale, touch the hand and knee together. Okay, so I want you to do this movement here. 
with the visualization, if, if you're just balancing a water bottle on your lower back, okay, so we're trying to keep as little movement now in the hips, we're trying to keep them in a fixed position, and you're going to engage your ab muscles here as you draw the hand and knee together. So two breaths, inhale and lengthen. Exhale, touch. Nice and slow. Co coordinate the movement with your breath. Okay, and reset. So we're going to switch now to the right side. So again, we're going to send that heel away. So you're flexing the right foot. So you're going to extend out that left arm. Take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, bring that hand and knee together. So it's a controlled movement. Try and visualize that water bottle just balancing on your lower back. Two breaths. Yeah, and relax down. Now, from here, we're going to come up into that downward dog position. So if you just curl your toes under your feet, okay, just lift the knees up, take those hips up nice and high. Okay, and we're just going to lower the head and the chest between the arms. Now we just start to alternate the heels here. Up and down off the mat. Now, and we're going to just come up onto those tippy toes. We're going to tippy toe to the front of the mat. Okay, and we're going to come into our ragdoll. So our toes are pointed forward. So you can have a little gap between your feet if you wish. Okay, we're going to keep the length in the legs, but have a bend in the knees so we can get that chest here nice and close to the thigh. And we're going to just fold the arms overhead. So you're going to go opposite elbow or opposite um, forearm with the hand. Okay, now we're going to tuck that chin. Let those arms go nice and loose. So we're relaxing the shoulders so we can open up that lower back. So we pause here for a few breaths. Now we're just going to slowly just roll ourselves up, keep that chin tuck. So you're stacking one vertebrae on top of the other, and the head is the last to lift. Okay, and we're just coming up into a nice, strong standing position. Okay, so again, we come to Tandasana. Feet are pointing forward, we're nice and tall, we're relaxing the shoulders back and down. Okay, and we're just gazing forward. We're going to just bring it into our, our side bend now. So we're going to just take both arms up overhead on the inhale. So we're lengthening now. We're reaching up to the ceiling. If you prefer to interlock your fingers and stretch up, you can. Just turn your palms to face the ceiling. Now, lengthening up with your next inhale, we we'll just gently lean now to the right. We're taking that stretch here now to the side body. So inhale, keep the length in the arms and on the exhale, just gently lean to your ribs. And we return to center. We reach up once more with the next breath in. And we lean now to the left on the exhale. So we're just lengthening now through that left side body. Keep it a length in the arms, reach. And we come back to center. We're gonna reach up once more and we're gonna just spill forward now so you can separate or unlock the fingers. Okay, come into that forward pose. So again, soften both knees, chest and thighs, tuck the chin.
Now, from here, we're just going to step back with the left foot. We're coming into that lunge position, that high lunge position. Now, if you want, if you prefer to take your back knee down, you can, just to take some pressure off. In that high lunge position now, we're going to just sweep that right hand around. We're going to follow it, just again, taking it to a twist. We're going to take that right hand back to the mass. And we're going to step back to the plank position. So a nice strong plank here. Again, engaging those abs, you're pressing your two pads into the mat. Okay, and we're going to slowly lower ourselves here to the mat. So you're using your body weight as resistance. Again, you can take both knees to the mat if you want. Make it that just a little bit easier. So slowly just lower yourself down. Okay, we're going to come into that cobra position. So we relax both feet. Okay, and we're going to just lift the head, the chest. Okay, just come into the navel on the inhale. So we're lifting up. Nice deep breath in. And exhale, just draw those shoulders back. Try and relax that lower part of the spine. Now, we're going to just slowly lower our steps. We're going to reverse. So you're going to lower the navel, the chest. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to use all our strength. So you can again come to the knees or you can push yourself straight up off the mat. So we come up on the exhale, it's that downward dog position. Take a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, I want you to press yourself away from the mat, hips up nice and high. So we're coming into that second downward dog. So again, just lower the head between the arms, hips up to the highest point. And we're just lowering the heels. Now, from here, we're going to just lift that left leg up. So you're coming into that three-legged dog. Okay, and we're going to just step the left foot here between both hands. Okay, if you want to come in or come back down onto that right knee and then step the left foot forward, you can also do it that way as well. So, in that high lunge position now, this time on your second side, so that left side. We we'll take just a few soft breaths here, just lowering those hips again. We're trying to broaden that chest. We're keeping the hands either side here now of that left foot. And now we're just going to sweep your left hand around. Okay, and we're going to gaze up into that left hand as well. And we come back around once more. Now, from here, we're going to step back into the plank position once more again. Okay? So you're in that nice, strong plank position. But we're going to go to a side plank from here. So feet nice and wide. Okay, you're going to step your right hand to the center of the mat. And we're going to open up the hips. So we're toe to heel into that nice, strong plank position. You can also, if you have any shoulder issues, you can take it to the elbow if you wish, okay? We're looking to keep the hips square here, so feet nice and wide, lift up. We turn the head and look up into that left hand again. We come back around, so back to your high plank position, okay? And we're going to switch now to the opposite side, your second side. This time I'm going to step my left hand into the center of the mat, I'm going to sweep the right around, and again, hips up nice and high, you can also take it to that left elbow. Okay, just make sure your elbow is beneath your shoulder. So whichever variation we're working with here, we just pause and hold. Two breaths. One more breath. And we come back around once more. Now, from here again, we're gonna just lower ourselves to the mat. You can take your knees down if you want first and relax at the bottom. Now, we're going to come into that second cobra. So come on up on the inhale, 
Feel that chest up. Okay, if you want to take some pressure off, take your hands further in front. You want to go a little bit deeper into that lower part of the spine. Okay, take them a little bit closer to you. And again, on the exhale, just draw your shoulders back. Now we'll slowly lower ourselves down. So you're going into a reverse. You're going to go navel, chest or the sternum. Okay, and then press your head down. So you're going to take your elbows from the mat. You're going to use all your strength here. You're coming back to that downward dog position. So press yourself up nice and high. Fix up. And again, you just alternate the heels up and down. We're going to just walk the feet now to the top of the mat. We're going to come into that malasana or that deep squat pose. So you can go nice and wide with the feet. You can turn them so they're pointing outwards. I'm going to just drop those hips down towards the mat and the heels. Okay. So we're looking for a nice broad chest here. Okay. So we're drawing those shoulders back. You can take the hands to prayer position. Place your elbows inside the knees. Okay, or if you need a little bit of help, you can just take the elbows on the knees. Okay, so just nice and easy. Okay. Take three deep breaths, broaden that chest. We're getting into those deep inner thighs here. We're going to lift those hips up. We're going to just take those feet back in again. We're going to come into that half forward fold. So we're going to place the hands here to the shins. So we're flattening the back. And on the exhale now, we're just coming into that forward fold once more. But the inhale, come to your half forward fold. Nice flat back. And on the exhale, forward forward into your foot. Now, we're going to take that left foot back, okay? We're going to lower that left heel down. So your left toes are pointing outward. Now we're going to cartwheel or windmill up, okay, into that warrior two. Now we're just going to straighten that right leg and we're going to turn that right foot now. So we're coming into that wide-legged forward fold. Okay, so we're going to just reach up with both arms Soften both knees that they're not locked out, okay? And we're going to hinge from the hips. So we're spilling forward, okay? And we're going to take the two hands here to the mat. So if you can, bend the knees so you can flatten that lower back. Now, from here, we're going to just keep that right knee nice and soft and we're going to lengthen the left leg. So we're just sitting back into it. You're taking that stretch here to the inside of your left leg. Keep that foot. Chest broad, sorry, and keep your back nice and flat. We come back to the center by softening both knees, and now we will keep that left knee bent. Keep a bend in that left knee, and we gently just straighten out that right leg. So again, you're getting the inside of that right thigh. Now we come back to the center. Okay. And again, we're going to just fold the two arms here up overhead, and we're going to fold forward. Tuck your chin to the chest, let the arms go nice and loose. Feeling a nice stretch through the inner thighs and through the back of the hamstrings. Now we're just going to slowly lift up, just taking your time. Take the hands to the hips. Okay, you're going to just turn your right foot forward. You're going to soften that right knee. Okay, we take those arms to shoulder height. And again, we're going to just windmill forward again. Okay, so you're pivoting on that left foot. 
Okay, we're gonna step back to that plank position. You're gonna just lower your knees down, and we're gonna just sit back here on both heels. Okay, so we'll take three breaths here, just relaxing the shoulders. Okay, we're just opening up the ankles here. You're also just compressing those knee joints as well. Okay. And we're going to take a nice deep breath. Again, try and breathe using that stomach. We're going to just come into a seated position. We take both feet just out front and we're going to do a twist here. Okay, so sitting nice and upright again, we want to be sitting here on the sitting bones, so that's the bony part of the bum. Okay, and we're going to just draw now that left knee to the chest. Okay, from here, then we're going to use the right arm. So you can use either the crease of the right arm or just wrapping it around that left knee. Okay, and we're going to just take the left hand then back up behind. So we're sitting nice and upright. But we'll just be careful now not to arch through your lower back. Try and keep that spine neutral. So each vertebrae stacked one on top of the other. A nice straight line. Okay, so we're going to just lift on your inhale and on the exhale we're going to just rotate, we're going to twist and just glance over your left shoulder. On that exhale, that will deepen in that twist. So you're going to twist here through the abdominals and you're rotating through that upper body. Now we just come back to center. So we inhale to the center, we extend out that left leg. We just change sides, so we just draw that right knee now to the chest. We keep that foot inside of your left knee. You're going to use the crease of your left elbow here. Just wrap it around that right knee. The right hand then comes back and behind. And we're just lifting and on that exhale. We're just emptying out now. So complete your exhale, get a nice deep twist. back to center. Okay, we come to our cobbler's pose as we call it. So you're going to bring the soles of the feet together, okay? And now we're just going to grip the toes. We're going to just lift up again. So we're just trying to hinge forward. So a little bend in the elbow. So lift up. Again, we're trying to keep that spine as, as straight as we can and just hinging from the hips. So again, we're, we're targeting those deep inner thighs once more. Now we just lift up once more. Okay, so we're going to just take feet out front. Okay, we're going to come to our back here now. Okay, so you can just take the hands in and just slowly roll down. So we're going to do the figure of four next. Okay, so we're targeting the glute muscles. So what I want you to do is place your left ankle here on your right thigh. Okay, we're going to open up that left hip now to so draw the left knee away. We're going to take your left hand just place it in between both feet. So you're just threading it through the legs. Take your right hand around the side. We'll interlock the fingers then around that right hamstring. Okay, and we're just gonna relax the head back. So again, we're just drawing that right knee to the chest. 
You're looking to feel the posture here on the outside of your left leg. And we pause for two to three breaths. And on the exhale again, that we're deepening the stretch. Now we relax that right foot to the mat. We don't cross that left leg and we just switch now to our second side. So we're going to place that right ankle on that left thigh. Same again, we're going to open up that right hip by just opening up the right knee or sending the right knee away. We're going to thread that right hand then just through both legs. Take the left around the side and just interlock the fingers. And again, we just rest the head back. And we take two to three deep breaths here now. Again, try and use that belly breathing here. So we're taking in nice deep breaths. And we just relax that left foot down and we just uncross that right foot. Now, from here, we're just going to bring the knees together and you're just going to walk your feet now towards the edges of your mat. So try and keep your knees touching, just working on that internal rotation. You can take your hands here by the sides. So you might feel the stretch here in the outside of the hips. We'll take three deep breaths. Walk the feet back in. Okay, we're going to just keep the knees and the feet together. Okay, and we're just going to just drop both of them to the right. We're going to turn the head then to look over that left shoulder. So just a little twist. We'll come back to the center. And we just lower both knees to the left then, so you're rolling onto your left hip. And we just turn the head to look over your right shoulder. And we just come back to center. Just take your feet a little bit wider. Come into that bridge pose, so just lift and we just pause here. So pressing just both feet into the mat, lifting hips. And we just lower back down. Okay, we just take both these to the chest. We just interlock the fingers just around the shins. Draw both knees in. And just take it to a little rock here, just side to side. And now we come to Shavasana. So we just extend out both legs. Okay, we just take your hands by the side. I want you to turn your palms to face the ceiling. If you want to place a cushion under the head, you can as well. We're just going to take a few short minutes here. Okay, just lying back in silence if we can. So we're just, again, taking our time here now. So relax the legs, just again, give them a little shake out, let the two feet drop out the sides. Just relax the shoulders. So we close the eyes here. And 
relax the, the muscles of the face. So the forehead, jaw, loose, very in line with faceless expression. We can come back for a normal breath. Again, as your thoughts, your thoughts come in and out of the head, just let them come and go. Acknowledging each thought as it comes. Just lie back in silence. Start to move the toes and the fingertips. We bring feet together, we take both arms up overhead. Take in a nice deep breath. So just coming into that morning stretch. So we're reaching nice and long. And we just take a bend of the knees and gripping in behind both knees. And we're just going to roll up into a seated position. So we're just sitting comfortably. Okay. And again, we will just draw our practice to a close. So we bring the hands together in prayer position. Okay, so again, thanks for tuning in this morning. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Um, and we finish with Namaste. Namaste, guys. As always, thank you. And again, if you want to at any stage, come back and do that practice again. It's always there on the YouTube channel. So enjoy the rest of your day. You're up and running now, I hope. And take it easy and stay safe. So thank you very much, guys. And we will see you soon.